Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Greetings of peace, mercy, and blessings. Welcome to Science Amazing Adventure, where the search for the truth continues. So, hang on tight, for we will answer your questions on what, why, and how. Let us discover the beauty of the world together. For in the great minds of young scientists like you, learning never stops. Let me take you where your imaginations allow you to go. This is your science teacher, Teacher Aina, your guide in exploring and discovering the world of science. Terrific morning, my dear young scientists. Are you ready for our lesson today? Today, we will continue to talk about solid materials that can be found in our environment and the changes they undergo. As you have known, solid materials can undergo changes with their characteristics or properties through many ways. In today's episode, we will observe different solid materials in our environment and describe the changes that the materials undergo once they are caught. Get ready, young scientists! Prepare your PPS, pen, paper, and self-learning module, for you will be using them in our science adventure. Some of the solid materials in our environment can undergo changes once they are caught. What does it mean when we say caught? Caught could mean to divide a thing or remove something from a solid material with the use of a sharp tool. Some materials can be caught with the use of scissors. An example of this is Teacher Bromley's new haircut. Of course! Teacher Bromley went to the barber shop to get his haircut done. A pair of scissors and electric shaver were used to cut his hair. Teacher Bromley also used a razor to shave his beard. Aside from scissors, there are also other sharp tools like knives and metal cutters which can be used to cut other solid materials. Young scientists, can you still remember our last week's lesson? From whom do we ask for help when we want to recall the past week's lesson? Yes, we have our friend Tech Machino. Can you help me find him? Tech Machino! Tech Machino! Hmm, I think he is with the scientist again. Oh, there you are. Can you help our young scientists find out what happened in the last week's lesson? A hammer is a hand tool which usually consists of a metal head held on the end of a wooden handle. It is used for beating, striking, or pounding materials. Some solid materials can be hammered depending on their composition. When hammered, these materials may change in size, shape, and even in texture. However, no new material is formed because only the physical appearance of the material is changed. There are materials in our environment which can be hammered into thin sheets. This means that metals are malleable or can be hammered into thin sheets. This property is called malleability. Ductility is associated with the ability of the materials to be hammered into thin or stretched into wire without breaking. A ductile substance can be drawn into a wire. Thanks once again, Tech Machino! What a great help! 
solid materials can be cut. In this lesson, you will be able to describe what happens to solid materials when they are cut. Observe the different materials in your environment. Identify what are the different materials that can be cut. What are the solid materials at home that can be cut? Can you name them? You can cut papers, cloth, wires, ropes, plastic bags, empty sachets of shampoo, and even old newspapers. You can even cut the 1.5 plastic bottles and recycle them. What are the solid materials at school that can be cut? Can you name them? You can cut pieces of papers like bond papers, art papers, and manila papers. What are the solid materials in the community that can be cut? Can you name them? You can harvest fruits from trees by cutting. You can also cut fallen branches of trees for firewood. We have different solid materials that can be cut. If you have successfully done this activity, you deserve your first star. In Science 4, we are ready to explore. So, make sure you are ready because it's Activity time! Using a pair of scissors, I will cut each of the given materials. Observe what happens to each of the materials. You may record your observations on your paper. Our materials are a pair of scissors, a piece of paper, piece of cardboard, candy wrapper, leaves, and piece of cloth. Let's start! Our first material is a piece of paper. Observe what will happen to the paper when it is cut. What happens to the paper when it is cut? It changes in size and shape. Our second material is a piece of cardboard. Observe what will happen to this material when it is cut. What happens to the cardboard when it is cut? It changes in size and shape. Our third material is a candy wrapper. Observe 
What happens to the candy wrapper when it is caught? What happens to the candy wrapper when it is caught? It changes in size and shape. Our fourth material are leaves. Observe what happened to the leaves when they are caught. What happened to the leaves when they are caught? It changes in size and shape. Our fifth material is a piece of cloth. Observe what happens to the cloth when it is caught. What happens to the cloth when it is caught? It changes in size and shape. Did you get all of the items correctly? Then you deserve your second star. Were there new materials formed when the materials were cut? No, there were no new materials formed when a piece of paper cardboard, candy wrapper, leaves, and cloth were cut. Only the appearance of the materials has changed. Not all solid materials can be cut using simple scissors. Some solid materials like iron, steel, and other materials can be cut using sophisticated cutters like metal cutters or machine cutters. If you were the worker, who is using metal cutters? How can you protect yourself from danger or accident considering the fact that the edges of sheet metal are razor sharp? Take extra care in using cutting materials. Workers who use metal cutters wear protective gears. Study the picture. Find the materials that can be cut with a pair of scissors. Name them. Here are the materials that can be cut with a pair of scissors. Look for the materials that can be cut with a knife. Name them. Here are the materials that can be cut with a knife. This time, look for the materials that can be cut with a handsaw. Name them.
Now, look for the materials that can be cut with a metal cutter. Name them. Have you found all of the materials? If you do, it's time for you to gain your third and last star. For today's lesson, we have ventured on the changes that materials undergo when they are cut. You have learned that solid materials can be cut. When cut, these materials may change their size and shape, but no new material is formed. Hence, only the physical appearance of the solid material is changed when cut. You have also learned that not all solid materials can be cut using simple scissors. Some solid materials like iron and steel can be cut using sophisticated cutters like metal cutters, or machine cutters. That's all for today, young scientists. I hope we had answered your questions on what, why, and how. For in the great minds of young scientists like you, learning never stops. Follow where your imaginations allow you to go. Once again, this is your science teacher, Teacher Aina. Don't forget to follow our official DepEd TV YouTube channel and Facebook page so you can watch your lessons anytime, anywhere. Hit like, share, and subscribe. Wassalam!